Oh yes! Today we're gonna take a look at this beautiful Amiga 4000. We're gonna fart around with some Amiga gaming. And in this Amiga 4000, let's remove the audio here from the TV screen here. There we go. In this Amiga 4000, we have got built-in 2 MB chip RAM and 16 MB fast RAM on the motherboard. Built-in, upgraded with. And down here, we have the Cyberstorm MK1. But the important part is, we are running the system with a 68040 processor. How many megahertz? I don't remember, I don't care. In this video, we're gonna take a look at what we're dealing with as gamers when we are dealing with the 68040 CPU. Oh my God. So we just go in here and choose a one of one of the sweetest game that I really love to play, Epidia. Let's go down and there we go. I have filmed this so many times in so many videos. We are running with the newest version, as you can see, WST load 18.8.6478 that I downloaded, installed, upgraded to the newest version WHD load. Everything should be fine on this uh, 8 gigabyte compact flash card and we're ready for some awesome gaming with the 68060 and as you can see we have got some graphical glitches and it looks amazing as you can see beautiful beautiful stuff look at this beauty now this is with the 68040 guys let's go ahead and uh, try another game uh, escape there we go <laughs> let's go ahead and try Something with a super frog. Um, no view. That's a nice game. All right. Again, we're running with the O40. Beautiful CPU. As you can see, newest WHD load February 2023. Everything newest, and it has found some chip RAM. That's just awesomeness. This. Exception, excess fault. Something. Make core dump. Work. It doesn't work. Quit that. <laughs> Let me see the settings here. Two seconds, guys. I just need to see one thing. Preload is on. No auto vac. Uh, okay, so I won't get those faders. So it's 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 perfectly fine as it is as it is let's check out turrican guys right uh, let's go down here to turrican two seconds we will scroll down we're down and we're at turrican let's give it a go with this beautiful joystick love it all right it's loading turrican oh this one works that's nice so this is the first part now we have checked couple of games and we're gonna inst something great stuff you can go in you can disable CPU cache you can you can do some stuff to remove uh, some of the errors but I'm telling you guys this 68040 is just so lame to game with I can't I don't know where to start and also graphical glitches and, and crashes that's one thing but the other thing is this if we go ahead and give this one some volume over here yeah and we quit the music over here and just listen to this with the old phone just listen it it, it runs like an NT NT CS US system 60 hertz like it's just so fast it shouldn't sound like this <laughs> oh yes and the game has crashed and the music is just running noise let's go ahead and remove this ugly 040 processor <laughs> Let's install something proper, something proper like this. 
the 60 at all 30. This one is just the sweet spot. This is beautiful. This is pure awesomeness. Let's, let's give it a go, okay? Here, yeah, Falten. All right, guys. The all 40 CPU is off now. As you can see, it's up top there. And we're gonna install this one. This is, this is magic from Commodore, as you can see. This is the Motorola 68030 at 25 megahertz. This board runs at 25 megahertz with an 030 processor and it has an FPU that is called 68882 at 40 megahertz. And because it runs here, it's probably running at 25 megahertz. I don't know, I didn't put it in, it was just there. So let's just go ahead and install this beauty and check out the same games again. Yay! All right, guys, as you can see, this is a really weird angle to film in. It's very, very weird, I know it. But I just wanna show you everything so you can see no cheat, no nothing. Why should I cheat? This one has got built in the old 30 processor now, and we will go down and check out a period, right? So for a second ago, we tried this game and we had graphical glitches, itches, mitches, and B, I don't want to say that word. We're a family friendly channel here. As you can see, the old 30, it just jumps up. It. Come on. Yes. Look at this beauty. Auto fire is on. We have perfect audio. We have perfect graphics. No graphical issues. No setup. No installation. No nothing. It's the newest version of WHD Load. This Compact Crash card is just updated to the newest of the newest. It's beautiful stuff. And as you can see, the old 30 just plays everything as it was 1992. And it's just awesomeness. It's beautiful. It's so nice. And I love it. Let's check out the next game by pressing on F. 10 years so we can reset. What was the next game? Was it Turkey? No, the. You wait, 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 wait. Of course, the old 30, it will take some time before it loads. Old 40 was faster. As you can see, it's not as snappy, but let's check out view that crashed. I did set up nothing and it's still 18.8.64.78, so newest version WHD load here. Let's see how the O30 handles it. We have found 512K chip and 512K of fast RAM. Beautiful. This one had 112 megabytes of fast RAM, but it has also the built-in 16 megabyte on board on the Amiga 4000 board. So we have RAM enough. Everything over 16 megabytes is just ridiculous amount of RAM. Okay, as you can see, no issues, no nothing. It runs perfect speed, just like when you played this as a kid on your Amiga 500. Look at this. No emulators are used, nothing. I'm not cheating, I'm not doing everything is in real time. And it runs and some no lag. No, I mean this is one-to-one, -one, no lag, no nothing. It's just absolutely beautiful and I'm loving it. Let's go ahead and press F10 on our PC keyboard over here. Oh, that worked also, that's great. So let's go down. I mean, don't you agree? The O30 is just a sweet spot for gaming and it's just awesome. What is this, Typhoon something? Uh, Turkin, there we go, Turkin 1. Let's go ahead and load that game also. As you can see, newest WHD load version. Oh, yo, yo, yo. Yes. <laughs> Super awesome. Love that game. Oh, yes. Come on, crash if you're there. You will go be thrown out the window if you crash now. Come on, come on. I love the WHD load, man. Just loads everything up into the RAM and it's auto fire on. And as you can see, we're on like Donkey Kong. Everything is just great stuff. Again, no glitches, no nothing, man. It just works. This is what we like. This is how we want it, right? So cool, so cool. Yeah, works 
Perfect. Let's try one last game. One last game. F10. There we go. The last game we're gonna check out is. Shadow. There we go. The last game we're gonna take out is Shadow of the Beast. A minute ago it ran like NTSC system too fast, just it has to run like PAL system, sound right, and the picture just disappeared. Again, you can go in and set up and make some adjustment tricks to make the old folder to run better, more compatibility, and the WHD load are getting newer every day, getting better and better and better. But as of right now, I don't want to waste my time with an old 40. I love the old 30. As you can see, no graphical errors again, and the audio part is just pure awesomeness. So, thumbs up for this totally sweet spot of a chip, the 60,000 30 at 25 megahertz. A dream CPU for us gamers that love to play on our Amiga 4000s because it's fun. It could be so cool for the developers that makes all these great stuff for our Amigas. If you guys could make a new processor board for the Amiga 4000 3000, I don't care. But still, 6806 030. 030, cheap. Available, nice, nice, very compatible. So, O30 processor. This one runs at 25. As you could see, the menu a bit of speed could be better. So, O30 that runs with 50 megahertz. Okay, that could be nice. Onboard RAM on the CPU board. Onboard RAM on the CPU board will run faster than the bo than the RAM on the Amiga's own motherboard or the Zorro 3 slots, okay? When you make your test on your sysinfo, that won't tell you the difference, but in the real deal, when you use, when you load your games, onboard RAM will be much, much better to have. So, 68030, 50 megahertz with eight or maybe 16 megabytes of RAM. You don't need more. 16 is, is, is enough. I don't think you can you can find 16 megabytes, then just put in 64 is enough. Whatever, it's cheapest, just minimum 8. Okay, from 8 and upwards of RAM. And the last thing, it could be so cool with a built-in on the processor board SD card, micro SD card. It could be so cool. Complex flash cards are getting harder harder to get. Okay and the built-in onboard ID adapter on the Amiga 4000 reads about 2 megabytes per second. Nice, but have it built-in, bootable on the CPU board with a micro SD card. How cool would that be? So this is just a little wish from a gamer's perspective. Well, a lot of gamers, the Amiga was a gaming computer. The Amiga got popular because we could copy games from the schoolyard borrow games from our friends and copy them and that's why the Commodore 64 was popular that's why the Amiga was popular not because it was in all banks and blah 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 it was a gaming piece of toy 30 years ago and it's a fun toy still today some of you guys are writing on the comments down below retro jingo this is waste of money this is waste of your time this is old tech just junk I say no, I love the nostalgic retro feeling, I just love everything about it. Some of you guys like to use your time and money on drugs. I don't do drugs, losers do drugs. I use it on fun stuff like this. So again, thumbs up for the 68030 processor. I hope you enjoyed this one and I'll see you on the next video. Bye!